Okay, so within the last 24 hours, Milagro, as the ladies would say, has been clocking the hell out of Joe Budden's tea. And this all started on a 30-minute live stream where she pretty much was talking about the whole thing, like the whole debacle, responded to Joe Budden, what he said, where he kind of was throwing a little bit of shade at her on the pod. Like, he kind of brought her up in the same sentence as Tasha K. And even that in of itself is kind of crazy because why? So to sit up and to draw, bring me up like you got a leg to stand on is crazy. I could see if you have a, you had a difference of opinion and you was coming at me, but babe, you block people who don't laugh. Not black people who waste my time. Just like you. Look at you, block. Look at them. And I'm going to block some more holes if I feel like it. So I'm just confused as to why he feels the need to do that. Okay, second of all, but I already know why. I, this the hate train era? I, I'm supposed to go want to run off and or something like that? Please. So anyway, then he decides to bring me up, you know, off the tail end of Tasha K. I have an issue with something that Tasha K said about me in the past. I did not like it. It was a full-fledged lie. She owes me an apology. I've stood on that for years. Okay. A lot of people need to tell me they're proud of me. That would mean a lot to me. Whatever the hell Drake said, that doesn't mean you're going to get it. So I moved on with my life. I do believe that she owes me an apology, but that ain't stopped me from interacting with her because there are stories to be told and there's different things to talk about. Okay. But do I have an active issue with Tasha K? No. It's as simple as what I said it was. She owed me an apology. It's a lot of shit that I could get over with some acknowledgement because it's all about principle in the first place for me. So I, I ain't got to hold on to it if you address it. But she hasn't addressed it, so okay. Oh, you heard that? Okay, go hear something else. Let me block you too. Thank you for the tidbit, though. The fact Joe even put her in the same sentence is crazy considering the fact that Tasha K has went on her own platform pretty much saying that Cardi B had an STD. And it's in th that in of itself is just wow. Just let that sink in. That's worthy of a lawsuit, okay? That's why Tasha K has had to pay out the wazoo to Cardi B every time she got a check from Google. And even worse, there was a blogger that came in, Nicki Minaj, attacking her kid, saying all type of foul shit that I'm not going to repeat, but it's out there. I've you know, said my piece on in the past. Pretty much defamatory remarks, which I guarantee you, if Nikki didn't have half the shit she got going for herself right now, she probably would have hopped on a plane to crash out on a bitch. But shout out to the bars for clocking that blogger's tea at the time. But even though Joe is gleeful and happy, and, and I'm a fan of Joe, I fuck with him, I watch the content all the time. But even though he's happy about Milagro getting sued, she's fighting a fight that you're a part of she's fighting for everybody in the media that's why academics is on her side that's why i'm on her side and hell even to another degree she's fighting for you joe because guess what when this is all said and done you better hope that megan doesn't win in court because if megan wins in court she could easily turn around while you're happy about this and sue you for anything and not just her but like let's say in an alternate reality if the iron was still hot on the whole issue between Melissa Ford and Cam about what she said about him in the past, best belief, if Cam wanted to, he could have easily sued Joe Budden over that shit. And I get it, it's water under the bridge at this point, but you get the point. Millie is out here defending people, everybody that's in the media that's been giving their whole two cents on this whole Tory case. And you got people trying to make it seem like, oh, she's out here outright saying, oh, um... Megan Thee Stallion is a 304 or out here saying that Megan Thee Stallion is a compulsive liar or Megan Thee Stallion is a drunkard. What Milagro does on her live streams is she creates a pattern or she points out a pattern and puts it in front of the audience and asks them what y'all think. She doesn't simply say, oh, I think it's true or it's true. She just sits there and say, what y'all think? All she does is report on what other people have said. I didn't know that was a crime. Instead of suing the people that is simply reporting on what other people have said, how about you go out and sue the horse's mouth? Her ex, Partisan Fontaine, has alleged that 
Megan has a drinking problem. Now, granted, I've never been on the boat of me believing she has a drinking problem. If she does, like, I'd rather her come out to the public and say, yeah, I got a problem and I've been fighting my demons for X amount of years and I'm going to get help. I'd rather it be some shit like that. But it has been a lot of people to step forward to say she has a problem, allegedly. And even when I just said, I didn't simply say that, oh, she's a drunk. I'm saying a lot of people are out here saying this about her. But if anything, I feel like Joe Budden needs to apologize to Milagro and own up to his shit. This is another one of the cases where Joe, even though he's done this in the past, not done the best of research to, his, to, to the best of his ability when it comes to certain topics. And it came off like, him and certain other members of the crew were being a bit ill-informed and not watching the content they're just going off of whatever the fuck and ain't got any proof to back it up so joe budden you might be happy now but you might be sad later if you end up getting a cease and desist or a lawsuit from any other celebrity that feels like that their feelings are hurt because of what you said on the podcast about them. But with that being said, y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.